but quagmire. Hey guys, it's Giggity and come back with another episode of Pokemon Duel today. I want to go over whether or not I still think Mew is relevant in the meta. We are currently driving. My brother wants to. It's currently our lunch, our uh, break at work, so um, I decided to do a video. He wanted to go catch Gen 3 Pokemon, so that's what we're doing. Um, yeah. Gen 3 came out. Uh, I, yeah, I put a video up, and then tomorrow is Mewtwo, so get excited for that. Um, if we get enough people there, I'm really hoping we do. I think they will be because there was one person with six. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping so. Sorry if the lighting's bad. I'm once again in the car. Because this is the only time I'm actually going to be able to record today. Besides, if I decided to record at like 10 o'clock at night and then it'd be posted at midnight, I don't want to do that. So, but I'll cut back to when we get a match. Right, we got an opponent. Um, Man, lighting is horrible. But, we got an opponent who is going to be a twin deck. Alright, it's a decent example. Eh, it's not really that good of an example. But, we'll get into this. <coughs> We're gonna bring... Uh, we bring out Tapu Koko first, because if he, we bring out Mew, he gets beat by what I think is the best runner in the game right now, sorry. Um, Tapu Koko. That's why we're testing out whether or not we still think Mew is relevant. I don't think he is anymore, honestly, because of uh, Tapu Koko. Unless that's all you got. Well, unless, yeah, unless that's all you got, then you're kind of screwed. But, um, but you, I don't see many higher ranked teams, like 35, 36, 37, 30, 100 plus, get it, having a, um, Mew out that often anymore. I only see them having Tapu Koko. And for probably a very good reason. He's not relevant. I don't, I don't really, I, it really depends on the team you're on. If you're running a running team, then yes, then it's going to be relevant. But if you're not, I don't think he's relevant anymore. It's sad to say, because Mew has done so much for me and so much for a lot of people. But he's not, he's just not relevant anymore. And now, for example, Mew has the he can't uh, the hypersonic can't be beat by 100 plus. That's great. What happens if you have um Sigalio, which is on almost every single team? A lot of my bad, not almost. It's on a lot of teams, not almost every single one, because that's a little bit much. But I don't think he's relevant anymore. All right, it's sad, but yeah, it is. Right, we're gonna go after your septile with no beautiful that was beautiful right there RNG is just going my way every single spin so far sorry if the lighting I'm sorry the lighting is bugging me a lot but okay no one's looking at your face ouch Nick wow let's see what he's got to do um what <laughs> just laying down my brother's catching that guy <laughs> it's kind of funny gen 3 is so much it's gonna be so much fun um it was one of gen 3 is one of my favorites um uh it's the first like pokemon game i did was emerald well one of the it was the first mainstream game i did Log on to my account and get it. Register to the Pokemon. There we go. Finally lost one, but Mew's just sitting back here. I think he's more of a defender than anything. Which is weird to say a runner is a defender, but that's what happens. Wow. Okay. Um, that wasn't nice. Go ahead. We're gonna, you're gonna land a white, we're gonna land our purple moon guys beam, and we're gonna win, nice. I'll take it. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of you. 
And then here's the true test is his Mew is still there. Oh, uh, no, he's gonna bring his uh, Zapdos back over. Kinda have to. Wow, is Mew relevant? Meanwhile, both teams are running Mew. Yeah. But he's a 3400 player and I'm just doing it for the video. Do it for the vine. No. Let's see. Okay, he's gonna bring Mew over. That's interesting. So I'm just gonna bring Sigalio to the goal, uh, to the entry point. Now he has to attack. I love this guy. He's just like pulling. Let's see what he's got. Got it. He's gonna double. Thank you. He's gonna double chance. With, oh, Zapdos. Hmm. As long as I land my 65, I should be good, and that's gonna be game right there. Why would you respin there? Why not? Roost. It really wouldn't make a difference though, because now, hey, sir, I'll kill. I'll go into one more game with um. With Mew. But. I don't know. Um, he should just forfeit here. But we'll continue the discussion next game. Be right back. I know I didn't win yet, but it's guaranteed win. I'll be right back. Alright, I got my second and last one of the video. I'm only going to be doing two videos. Uh, two games for this video. And we're going up against a 3300 player. Is he running Mew? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, no, he's running Tapu Coco. Okay. Which is what you see nowadays. The only way that I think Mew could be helpful against Tapu Coco is landing his self hit. Um, and then when you hit the self hit, it moves over and it can go towards the goal quicker. But we're just going to take over the entry point. And another video I want to do in the future is, it would be like a two or three minute video, um, is does Melee Melee, what does, how does Melee Melee Wish affect Tapu Koko? Like himself, Tapu Koko, like if I had ran two Tapu Kokos, would Melee Melee Wish have given the ability to go through fairy types? Because basically it just gives him the ability to soar in three movement points. I wonder if it helps out with the fairy types. I'm doing a video later on Tapu Bulu and we'll buff it. That could be interesting too. Which credit to Fodder for that one. Yeah. That be but why would you bring your Mega Gengar out now? That is the question. I don't know. We'll see. What he, okay, he's doing that. I'm actually going to bring Mew out. I'm going to attack his gang, Mega Gengar with Mew. Didn't win. Didn't lose. All good. But now he can't move, which is fine. Which is fine. Don't have to really worry about anything. Um... You have enough storage. I'm like, no. Okay, and now, now it's gonna be slow. Dang it. Is it glitchy? Is it lagging? Probably lagging. Huh? Uh, let's let's go after his um Charizard before he could actually bring out, bring back out the Charizard. Whoa! Charizard landed miss. Let's go. I'm t I'll take it. Oh, is he gonna leave the game? Oh, are you leaving the game? Oh, hopefully he comes back. Probably going the wrong way. Yep. What are you doing? Ah, uh, joy. Alright, doesn't look like he's coming back. 
But if he does, if he doesn't come back, um, this will be the last game. If he does come back, this will also be the last game. Um, because I want to be able to get this edited and posted up before the end of my break, so that it can it can be posted at a reasonable hour instead of like 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, my time. But um, so you want some sleep? Yeah, I like sleep. Um, no, and if you guys were at my live stream last time, I'm sorry. Um, there is. I thought I was gonna have just me and my brother in there, and also my, my dad comes in, my little brother comes in, and all of a sudden it's just, he's talking to me, talking to me, talking to me, talking to me, and couldn't focus, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but next time I live stream, it'll be better. And it looks like he's done. Just waiting for him to just say you won. Yep, there it is. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, comment down whether or not you think Mew is relevant. And if you're not already a part of the Gig Squad, go ahead, subscribe down below. I'm looking to hit 500 by the end of the year. Um, I'm currently at 460, so we can easily get there. Help me out. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out. It's not, it's not turning off. It's not turning off.